Hello everybody, my name's Lauren Key, I'm a SharePoint engineer, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to format and customize your SharePoint list. I'm gonna be showing you how to set alternating row styles, format your dates, and format your text. So the first thing we're gonna do is set the alternating row styles. So we go to all items, format current view, Tick the alternating row styles, go edit row styles, and now here you get the option to change the colour. Because my theme of my communication site is like a natural green colour, I'm going to go with a light green and a light grey. Save, close, and now you can see that our list um, is a grey green, grey green format. That just makes it easy for a person to read the information and understand what the content is within the list. So the next thing I want to do is format this consultation form expiry date. We go to the arrow, column settings, format this column, tick the format dates and click edit styles. So when a customer comes into the health spa, they will fill out a consultation form. Uh, they will include their details as we have here, their name, date of birth, home address, etc, etc. Though it's really important for that to be reviewed in let's say a year's time, which is why we've got the expiry dates. So this conditional formatting allows us to highlight to a therapist when the expiry date is up or coming up for renewal. So here, if the consultation form expiry is before today, it needs to be read. If the consultation form is today, it's going to be orange. Let's just double check that. And then if the consultation form is after today, that's fine. Let's leave that as it is. So we click save, close, and there we have it. As you can see now, um, we can easily see that Draco Malfoy's consultation form has passed its expiry date. So as a therapist, I would need to go um, into this, have a look and contact the customer or when they next come into the health club, get them to fill out a new consultation form and we can change that to green again. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is show you how to format your text. I'm gonna add a column and I'm gonna put multiple lines of text. I'm gonna call it notes. I'm gonna do description, more options. You can have um, you can edit the number of lines in your column. Enhance rich text. Now this is important that you toggle on this button and click yes. And then save. Now when you add a new person to your um, list, in the notes section you get an edit button. And I think this is really cool. So you can add any information in here and you can edit the font, the font size, you can change the color, you can highlight some information, change it bold, italic, and all these other formatting options, which is really cool. So I don't want to say, I don't want to add anyone new, but you've got that option in there now. Also, if you go to quick edit, and you go into the notes pane here, you can highlight this and do control B for bold, I for italic, and control U for underline. And, that, and then you can exit quick edit. If you try and do that in another column, let's say home address, control B for bold, you will see that I can't edit that. And that's because that column has been set to multiple text field, okay? So 
let's just get rid of that information. Exit, quick edit. Right, that's only large, that, that um, row has only gone large there because we have that notes column in there um, with the six row formatted option, okay? And there we have it. So in summary, you've learned how to alternate row styles, you've learned how to format the dates, and you've learned how to format your text if you wish. In my next video, I'm gonna show you how to edit the therapist names. That's really cool. That's probably one of my favorite things to do in a SharePoint list, so do look out for that. Um, it'll be out very soon. Thank you very much, and I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye.